Hey guys, it's Kendra. Just wanted to create this video to show you how to embed your assignments or your files from your Canvas course into your Google Slides or your lesson plans. That way, if you're ever out or maybe you put the lesson plans up on the board and you wanna have easy access to show the students what we're doing that day in class, you are able to do so. So if you would, just keep watching and I'll show you how to do that. So what you're gonna wanna do first, if you want to embed the actual Canvas assignment into your course, you are going to want to create the assignment first. So go to assignment and you're gonna click create assignment and you can create whatever assignments you want to create. Okay, so I've done unit one assignments. I kind of break them down where I know um, when we're doing them. So I've created them all. So um, you create your assignment first. So you just hit create assignment. You can put your um, description or whatever it is in there. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to exit out because I've already created them all. But so you have your assignments. Next, you're going to go to your lesson plan in Google Slides. Okay. So for example, in this lesson, I put that we are going to do um, communication activity, which is the birthday shuffle, and we're going to start the cube activity. So the first one that I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight cube activity. So I type in my lesson plans completely before I actually try to embed the um, assignment from Canvas. So I'm going to type it all in and then I'm going to highlight cube activity because that's the link that I'm going to insert. Okay. Now up here in the top right um, where you can change the text color, you're going to see this little link and you're going to hit insert link and this pops up. Okay. So it's telling you what link do you want to add here. They're trying to give me links that say cube activity from different um, websites. I don't want to put that. I actually want to use um, my assignment from Canvas. So I'm going to come and I'm going to look and I'm going to find my cube activity. So this is it. It's called poster board cube assignment. So I'm going to click on this and I am going to copy the URL from the top. So I'm going to highlight it all, hit control C. I'm going to go back to my lesson plans and I'm going to hit control V and I'm going to paste that link into that link box and I'm going to hit apply. So now you can see that in my case, it's turned pink because of the theme I've used in this um, slideshow. Okay. But it's going to turn a different color and it's going to underline it for you. Okay. The next thing is it's telling us um, the other thing that I am doing just in case um, I'm not there or um, maybe I just want quick access to it is the instructions for the birthday shuffle. Okay, this I don't believe I actually created as an assignment in Canvas because they don't actually turn it in. It's more so um, like a get to know you activity, something fun, an icebreaker. So what I've done in this case is I've uploaded it as a file. Okay, so I put all my files into my Canvas course. That way I can embed them into my lesson plans and I have access to them. Plus, I don't know if you're like me, but there's so many times that we have all these great ideas and we come up with lesson plans and then we're like, okay, where in the world did I save that document to? Where is it? Well, the cool thing is if you upload it into a file, um, you'll have access to it and then you can actually embed it into that um, lesson plan so you'll be able to find it. So in this case, I clicked on unit one because it's the very first um, part of school that we're going to do it. So I'm going to scroll down and it says teamwork activity birthday shuffle. So I'm going to click on this and this is the instructions to the birthday shuffle. So same exact thing. I'm going to copy the URL at the top, highlight it, control C. I'm going to go back to my lesson plans. I've already highlighted the word birthday shuffle. So now I'm just going to click that link and I'm going to control V or paste it into there and I'm going to hit apply. Okay. So now that those activities or those assignments are actually in my um, lesson plans. So if I were to preview, which is kind of funny because I've actually never preview it straight from this. Okay. So if I hit present 
and I'm in class and this is the day, um, we're the very first day of school, we're trying to figure out what's going on and I'm like, okay, well, we're gonna do the birthday shuffle. Say I don't want a whole lot of paperwork. All I have to do is click on the birthday shuffle and on my computer, it's automatically going to pull up the birthday shuffle and what we are gonna do um, to make sure that we get that done, okay? Cool thing is too, all my lesson plans, say we're doing the cube activity and it is an assignment that students have to turn in on Canvas. Well, I've already embedded this lesson plan into my Canvas course, so if the student's absent and they click Cube Activity, it takes them straight to this assignment, and if they have to turn it in, in the student's window, it's gonna say Turn In or Submit Assignment. Okay, so it makes it really easy for the students to be able to see what assignment do I need to turn in and where do I turn it in at? Well, it's right here. But on this case, I actually put we're submitting it on paper because the students create this poster board cube about themselves, okay? So it makes it extremely easy for you to be able to do that, okay? Once we go into our syllabus page, we can click on lesson plans and we can actually view those lesson plans that we've embedded and we've just created, okay? So you see that that birthday shuffle. Well, say that there is something that they are doing that they cannot do without you, okay? Um, let's just pretend like it's the time management activity. I highly doubt they couldn't do that without a teacher. But um, say a sub is there and you're like, okay, well, on Friday, August 18th, there's no way they can do the time management activity. Um, so I need to change that. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to exit presentation mode really quick. So say Friday, August 18th, we, there's no way they can do the time management activity. Instead, they are going to read chapter five. I don't, I doubt they'll be doing that, but let's say that they're going to read chapter five and answer the questions on page 30. I just made this up, but um, say that that's what we have to do on August 18th. I am sick that day. There's no way I can get to the school and turn in my lesson plans in time. So all I did was log in to my Google Slides. I changed that on the 18th, we are needing to read chapter five and answer the questions on page 30. Well, the cool thing is, if you go back to your syllabus page now, okay, and you go to lesson plans, we're gonna go to Friday the 18th. Friday the 18th is now updated in your Canvas on exactly what they need to do, okay? So the cool thing is, is if you are absent and you need to update it, or say you're not absent and you need to update it, um, it's still less time consuming to actually update just this um, Google slide and then it updates automatically into your Canvas course so you don't have to go back and forth. You don't have to create the presentation in Word in PowerPoint like I'm used to and then re-upload it or anything like that. It's automatically embedded and it'll update it for you. So it makes it really easy for those days that um, we have to change our lesson plans because God knows we've all had to change it. And if you say you haven't, then I think you might be stretching the truth a little bit. Okay, but in this case, I really am not doing um, that and I really want them to do the time management activities. So I am just gonna put that back in there Okay, and if I actually go back and I refresh this and I go to the 18th, my time management activity is back there. Okay, so it makes it really easy for you to be able to keep up with what's going on in your class and it helps you to keep up with the assignments. It allows students to be able to click on these assignments and to see where they have to turn them in, um, turn them in or what they've done while, or what the class has done, should I say, while they were out or whatever the case may be. So it makes it really easy to streamline your classroom. So if you have any questions on how to um, embed those Canvas assignments or files into your Google Docs or your Google Slides, just let me know. Thank you.